It's getting late. Where to now? Hey, you came. That was fast. Didn't I tell you? Long story short. The underground used to have many mines. However, in recent years, some sort of corrosion called the Fragmentum started to spread. It's ruined a lot of mines. The one we're heading into is relatively unaffected. A bunch of vagrants made it their home after their old turf was consumed by the Fragmentum. Actually, most of them are pretty honest folks. But with such a large group, it's inevitable that troublemakers will find their way in. They've been stealing stuff from the miners and picking fights. And that's not the worst of it. Things are much more serious this time. For two days now, huge clashes have been breaking out between the miners and the vagrants. It isn't pretty. Mines are our lifelines in the underworld. We have to keep providing Geomero to the overworld in exchange for supplies. In order to quell the situation, Chief Oleg brought wildfire into the mine and left me in charge of security for the towns. But the situation in the mine is critical. I have to back him up. The underground used to have many mines. However, in recent years, some sort of corrosion called the Fragmentum started to spread. It's ruined a lot of mines. The one we're heading into is relatively unaffected. A bunch of vagrants made it their home after their old turf was consumed by the Fragmentum. Actually, most of them are pretty honest folks. But with such a large group, it's inevitable that troublemakers will find their way in. They've been stealing stuff from the miners and picking fights. And that's not the worst of it. Things are much more serious this time. For two days now, huge clashes have been breaking out between the miners and the vagrants. It isn't pretty. Mines are our lifelines in the underworld. We have to keep providing Geomero to the overworld in exchange for supplies. In order to quell the situation, Chief Oleg brought wildfire into the mine and left me in charge of security for the towns. But the situation in the mine is critical. I have to back him up. Oh, as for you, the Chief will decide your fate when we see him. Good. I've been wanting to come face to face with the leader of the underworld. You're about to come face to face with reality. Doctor lady? What's Natasha doing here? Things must be worse than I thought. Here. Where's Oleg? Hey, Zila and Sampo's guests. So it looks like you've already met. I haven't seen Oleg. The miners said they saw him take a group further in. Miners and their family members. They want an explanation from the instigators. This area up ahead is a vagrant dwelling, but they've sealed off the entrance. I guess they're afraid that angry miners might try to take revenge. <sighs> I heard that many were injured in the clashes, so I hurried over here to see if I could help. How could the situation here become such a mess? I heard that first mining team found a geomarrow vein with incredible deposits. <laughs> the initial estimate put it at the largest discovery in the last 30 years. Are you serious? That's big news! 
How come I never heard about it? Well, they weren't in a hurry to make it known. Most of the mines have been contaminated by the Fragmentum. Many people are out of work. They were afraid of being overwhelmed if they let the word out. But the vagrants here have keen eyes. They couldn't keep it hidden from them. Some local gangs wanted to profit from the situation, so they blackmailed the mining team for hush money. And that was the final straw. As it happens, that's exactly the law we have down here. But the vagrants have their own custom. See it, share it. And that's how the clash started. Now both sides are dealing with heavy losses. So, are you guys here to help resolve the conflict? They're here because they need a favor from Chief Oleg. I'm escorting them. And seeing as you need that helping hand, it wouldn't be too much to ask you to lend one here first, right? Of course we want to help. We care about other people too, you know. <laughs> of course it is. Nobody gives without expecting something in return. <laughs> I believe we're dealing with kind-hearted people here, Zila. As you've all seen, the situation down here is, um, strained. If you can, we would really appreciate you helping the people. one they discovered. That must be where the clashes are centered. Come on, let's get to higher ground and take a look. That person up ahead, is he asleep? Let's head up and take a look. He might need help. Falling asleep in a place like this. Impressive. Hey, wakey, wakey. You'll get mushrooms growing on your head. Hmm? Uh -huh. Mushroom bread? I can't see it on the menu. Huh? Miss Sila! Have you got a death wish or something? How can you sleep here? Get back to safety and take shelter. Take shelter? I remember now. These guys came out of nowhere and got into a fight with the mining team. At the time, I was exhausted. I'd hardly run a few feet when one of them caught me. If it weren't for wildfire, they'd have stolen the clothes off my back. You don't know these guys. No moral compass. They'd rob you blind in a flash. It's only thanks to wildfire that the Great Mine hasn't fallen under their control completely. Uh, speaking of which, where is wildfire? Did they head further in? Is there a fight happening? It seems like Chief Oleg must be up ahead. Hurry up and get back to safety. Look for Nat. And try not to get into another scrap along the way. Okay. Thank you for, um, getting me on my feet. If I get back soon enough, I'll have time for a, for a nap. I recognize that woman. 
That's Elaine from First Mining Team. Quick, let's get up there and see if she's wounded. Elaine! Are you okay? Are you hurt? Uh, Zila, thank goodness. I I'm fine. Just a couple of sprains. <sighs> You've got good timing. Those vagrants were asking me about the robots, but I don't know anything. Oh, don't you know? The intersection of the Great Mine has been seized by a band of robots. Neither the mining team nor the vagrants can get anywhere near. The new challengers enter! About time! Human-only conflicts are so boring! Does anyone know where the robots come from? <sighs> At first, we thought that a collective fault had occurred in the excavation machines. But then we found out that those machines didn't even belong to the mining team. They came out of nowhere and pushed the vagrants and us back. Then they blocked off the only tunnels into the intersection. <sighs> There's no way anyone in the mining team is behind this. Operating a single unit is tiring enough, but a whole group? <laughs> Impossible. And there's only one possibility. Boss Svarog. Svarog? That name sounds familiar. You remember the robots we defeated in the boxing gym? Oh, Boss Svarog's robots! What's his deal? Let's just say he's not to be trifled with. Let's go and find some other people. Elaine, can you make it back to safety? No problem. Zila and the rest of you, be careful. Robots aligned against humans? I've never heard of such a thing. Machines should obey humans unconditionally. Is this elevator broken? Why isn't it re responding? Why are you worried about this piece of junk? Do you really want to go down there and be a live target for the robots? But if we evacuate, then haven't we lost out? <sighs> you idiot, we'll just steal off the miners. Look, I saw with my own eyes. They managed to bag some Geomara. This is a perfect opportunity. Oh, good idea. Shameless. Still after the miners, are you? Time to teach you a lesson. Who will it be? Tough luck running into me! <laughs> Let's make it quick. to repent. <laughs> My turn! <laughs> Fleeing at the first sign of danger. That's all they're good for. Huh? What's this? Did those guys leave it behind? User. Beep, beep, beep! Voice print detected! Looking up corresponding identity information. Oh my, it's an alien! Hey, it talks! And it knows that we aren't from this planet? It doesn't seem to be technology from here. Look, it even has an International Peace Corporation logo on it. Perhaps it's an antiquity left behind by some past interstellar traveler. Your mom's an antiquity. Beep, beep, beep! Whatever, whatever. So you aliens know about the Inter-Astral Peace Corporation? That's great! Beep, beep, beep! Self-introduction. I am Richard, the Home Use Object Finder. Model information. Version 0 0.63. Professional model. Annual deluxe package. Nickname, Findy. A Home Use Object Finder? 
Who knew the IPC made these kinds of products? Beep, beep, beep. My brainwave scanner module is damaged. Please send me to an inter-astral peace appliances retail store near you for free repair within the warranty period of 232 years, 84 days. Beep, beep, beep. Alien, please take me to an inter-astral peace appliances retail store to conduct repairs. What? This spell is already broken. What should we do? Take it with us? Beep, beep, beep! Yes, yes, yes! When you need to find something you can't see, just call upon Findy! That's me! Reach the end of the story in your own way. and bullies. I don't remember you guys acting this tough around Svarog's minions. <laughs> Did your parents never teach you what a backbone was? <laughs> we ain't stupid. Why would we risk our lives against the robots? And get off the high road. You can't just find a huge chunk of Geomero and hog it all to yourselves. This mine is our territory. The mining team is laboring here day in and day out. You guys don't even pretend like you're here to lend a hand. You're lazy. All you want is to profit off our sweat and tears. You don't even try hiding it. Disgrace. Where does disgrace come into it when we can't even fill our stomachs, huh? I know your game. You're just waiting for us to starve to death so there's more food for your mining team. <sighs> it's a waste of time trying to reason with you. While you've been kicking up this fuss, the whole vein's been seized by robots. Now we're all in the same boat. <laughs> right, right. We can't rely on the vein anymore. But don't forget which side brought loaded guns to the party. Whoa, easy. What are you trying to pull off? I'm warning you, wildfire in the area. <laughs> Empty threat. <laughs> Wildfire are stuck dealing with Sparog's minions. How are they gonna help you now? Unless you're planning on taking a bullet. Hand over the supplies and equipment. 
They're getting ready to attack. Those miners are unarmed. You shameless scoundrels! You stay calm if you want. I'm taking action. I know those people! I'm going too. We can't let these thugs get away with whatever they like. Aha! And who do we have here? Do you know whose territory this is? Shut it. This isn't your territory. I'm in a hurry. I'll take you all in one go. This is our chance. No interesting conflict. Who invited you? The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Who will it be? Let's go. Everything is ordained by the so stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. to repent. Oh, Zila, thank goodness you came. We were nearly, uh... <laughs> Nothing but a few knuckleheads. I'm just glad you're okay. Antonia, have you seen Chief Oleg? Oleg? He took a group into the intersection. Said it was to clear off the invading robots. They've been gone for a while now. <laughs> if wildfire was around, those thugs wouldn't have dared. Seems like the core of this problem is Svarog's robots. The boss. He appeared suddenly after the guards were redeployed and became a major player in the underworld. Svarog claims to be a guardian of humanity. All the ownerless robots obey his commands. They've occupied the Furnace Core hub, and they're not letting anyone get close. Nobody knows why Svarog did any of this. He usually doesn't leave the Furnace Core and interfere unless some kind of disorder breaks out in the Underworld. Wait, a guardian of humanity? That can command robots? I've never heard of anything like... Hm. Looks like your mighty architects weren't as all-knowing as you thought. Can you two say anything without quarreling? This isn't the time! <sighs> it sounds like there's danger waiting for us in the intersection. Can we still get through? Yeah, you still need to talk with the Chief. It's only a bunch of scrap metal. What are we afraid of? Oh, is Zila starting to appreciate our strength? Hmm? I'll be honest. You guys are hardworking. If everyone from Wildfire were as impressive as you on the battlefield, we wouldn't be so hard-pressed by Svarog. Antonia, can you take the mining team back through the entrance to meet up with Natasha? Yeah, sure thing, but uh, be careful. There are a lot of robots up ahead. Fighting good stuff! Rules are made to be broken! Who will it be? Watch this awesome move! Thank <laughs> you. 
like there's a roadblock up ahead. I'll be the judge of that. Come on, let's take a closer look. It's completely blocked by the mine card. What do we do? Can we blow it up? Easy. It belongs to the mining team. We can't just destroy it. We should try and fix it. Easier said than done. Do you know how? Yeah, of course. Every underworlder worth their salt knows how to fix a minecart. Let me see. Hmm. Even the pin connecting the body to the chassis is broken. Not to mention the rear wheel set bearing. This looks like the work of Svarog's minions. We need to find spare parts we can use nearby. We're wasting time. Beep, beep, beep! Friends, do you need to find something? Findy can help? Uh, how come you just jumped out on your own, little fella? Isn't your module thingy broken? Beep, beep, beep. My brainwave scanner module is indeed broken. However, manual input for search is still operable. Come on, input the name of the object you were looking for. Findy can help. Oh, well, aren't you confident? Ah, uh, let me give it a try, then. Where's the input interface? Ah, uh, found it. Minecart pin, minecart wheel set, confirm. Just like that? Beep, beep, beep. Request is being processed. Beep, beep, beep. Match successful. Initiating search for lost item, minecart pin. Beep, beep, beep! Item found. Please commence search according to the Home Use Object Finder Safety Manual. Beep, beep, beep. As stated 
even in the terms of service. My search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, please call in Beep, beep, beep. As stated in the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, please call Inter- Beep, beep, beep. As stated in the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, please call Interastral- Beep, beep, beep. Findy will create a calendar reminder for when you want to visit an Interastral Peace Appliances store. Astral Peace Appliances, your most trustworthy companion. Beep, beep, beep! Finding will create a calendar reminder for when you want to visit an Interastral Peace Appliances store. Beep, beep, beep! As stated in the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, please call in Beep, beep! Interastral Peace Appliances, your most trustworthy companion. Beep, beep, beep. Interastral Peace Appliances, your most trustworthy companion. Beep, beep, beep. Based on your search history, I recommend the Humanoid Tactical Microwave. Press skip to cancel personalized ads. As stated in the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, please call in Beep, Beep, Beep. Interastral Peace Appliances, your most trustworthy companion. Keep back. Beep, Beep, Beep. As stated in the terms of service, my search result accuracy and reliability are not guaranteed. For more information, please call Inter- Beep, Beep, Beep. Based on your search history, I recommend the Humanoid Tactical Microwave. Press skip to cancel personalized ads. Beep, beep, beep! Findy will create a calendar reminder for when you want to visit an Interastral Peace Appliances store. Beep, beep, beep! Based on your search history, I recommend the Humanoid Tactical Microwave. Press skip to cancel personalized ads. Astral Peace Appliances, your most trustworthy companion. Beep, beep, beep. Based on your search history, I recommend the human beep, beep, beep. Potential target object detected. The current search has concluded. Entering sleep mode. Let me see. Uh, yeah, we can make do with this part. This little machine isn't half bad. Beep, beep, beep! What's that? Is that a hint of respect for Findy? How convenient! So, next time Don Hum gets lost, we can just use Findy to find him, right? Beep, beep, beep. Biological lifeform search is currently not supported. If you have any questions, please call Interastral Peace Appliances. Well, it was a good idea. Let's look for the next part. Beep, beep, beep! Initiating search for lost item, minecart wheel set. Beep, beep, beep! Item found! Please commence search according to the Home Use Object Finder Safety Manual. Your most trustworthy companion. Beep, beep, beep! Finding will create a calendar. Beep, beep, beep! Potential target object detected. The current search has concluded. And that's everything. You were a big help, Findy. Beep, beep, beep! It was nothing. Enter Astral Peace Appliances, your most trustworthy companion. Beep, beep, beep. Current search complete. <sighs> Entering sleep mode. Please recharge the home use object finder. We're pretty lucky, huh? 
Without Findy, it probably would have taken half the day to find these parts. Well, not that long, but that little machine definitely made it a lot easier. All right, let's go back and fix the minecart. Are you gonna do it yourself? Why wouldn't I? You've gotta be self-reliant down here. Watch, you might learn something. work. You know, I didn't think you guys had worked a day in your lives, but you know how to get your hands dirty. The cart is about to depart! The robots will have seized the road ahead by now. Whoa! Stop! Uh, stop! 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 There's a big evil hunk of metal right there! That model... It's one of Svarog's lapdogs, all right. Don't be afraid. I've dealt with those robots before. Let's go! Move carefully. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Who invited you? Ordained by the so stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. No manners, huh? Huh? <laughs> Here. Let's go. Try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move. Let's make it quick. The rules are made to be broken. No interest in conflict. Who will it be? <laughs> Let's make it quick. Let's go. Try that again. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Gotta try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move. Too late to repent. Ordained by the stars. Those stars give these trailblazers your blessing. Try that again. My turn. The rules are made to be broken. Tough luck running into me. Huh? <laughs> 
Fighting is meaning. This sanctuary is but a vision. Break! <laughs> Here! Watch this awesome move! Past victories don't guarantee future ones. Worth our while. Seeing it up close, this vein's even more spectacular. I doubt the underground will ever see it fully excavated. don't guarantee future ones. Seeing it up close, this vein's even more spectacular. I doubt the underground will ever see it fully excavated. Mm. much geomero before calculating based on the average rate of excavation this vein is enough to supply bellabog with 231 days of energy with a margin of error of seven days i sense that your reason for summoning me is not the or in question state your true intention clara right I wanted Mr. Sparg to see that many miners and vagrants have gotten hurt because of the vein. Can you help them? I have already prevented the dispute and taken temporary control of the excavation zone. Evaluation result. In the event of no further variables, there will be no large-scale armed conflict within the next 30 days. I know why you did it, Mr. Sparg. It's just... I don't think it'll be enough. The mining team in wildfire. They don't understand your actions. <sighs> if only we could do more for them. My mission is the protection of the underworld. The trust of the minority sample is redundant to my calculations. Human behavior will always deviate from rational calculation, Clara. As evidenced by their presence here. Sparag! We have
haven't settled our final score. Zila, subordinate to wildfire. Your resistance is futile. The result of my calculation is unequivocal. Remaining in the underworld is the optimal strategy for survival. <sighs> this again. Calculation results, survival strategies. I haven't got time for your thesis. Withdraw your forces, or I'll lose my temper. Observe, Clara. Even under abject conditions, humans are unable to avoid division and conflict. But Mr. Svarog... Human failure to accept the calculation result is a significant threat to the survival strategy of the underworld. Calculation complete. Result unequivocal. Armed suppression of wildfire and their allies is the optimal course of action. We must leave, Clara. External variables have triggered a calculation reset. The Furnace Core Hub requires protection. Please, Mills. Don't hit them too hard. <sighs> I was getting bored of those minions. Time for a real fight. Come at me! Make it quick. I can take more than that. Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move. Who invited you? <laughs> Tough luck running. Everything is ordained by the sun oh, stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing.
you. Who will it be? Let's make it quick. Who invited the you? The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Quick! <laughs> My turn! Ordained by the stars. Oh, stars, give these trailblazers your blessing. Fighting is meaningless. Interesting conflict. Who will it be? of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! <laughs> Tough luck running into me. <laughs> Phew! Let's go. <laughs> Fighting is meaningless. Ordained by the oh, stars, give these trailblazers your blessing. Let's make it try hard sometime. Watch this awesome move. Phew, not bad. How many of these big guys is Sparog hiding? A lot, which is why Wildfire has never been able to take him down. Svarog's forces are too strong. We don't have enough firepower. Clara? Don't worry about her. That girl is best pals with Svarog. She's always following behind him. He wouldn't harm her. I guess I'm just used to seeing them together now, even if I don't understand it. Let's look for the chief. No need to look far. Nice work, Zelo. We were attacked on both sides by robots. Who knows where they came from? We thought we were in it for the long haul. <laughs> oh, Chief, is everyone okay? Is anyone injured? We're fine. We're used to it at this point. We sent those pesky robots and ragtag troops packing. The mines should be quiet for a while. And, uh, who are your friends here? Ah, them. They're outsiders that Sample brought down from who knows where. They need a favor from Wildfire, so I brought them with me. It'll be faster if they explain. <laughs> it's been a while since I heard that anyone was pleased to meet anyone. <laughs> I won't forget you in a hurry. Wildfire welcomes you. 
So, you went to all this trouble to find Wildfire. What help is it you need? <laughs> I didn't know you'd put on a show for the Overworld, too. Impressive. <laughs> well, this is new. Wildfire can barely take care of the Underworld. And now outsiders are looking for assistance from us. This Stellaron you speak of, I've never heard of it. But if it's a secret that even we locals don't know about, then one name does come to mind. The current Supreme Guardian is a liar who uses sweet words to deceive the underworld. She's never cared about our survival. Stop right there. I won't allow you to insult the Madam Guardian. Miss Overworld, my words may be painful to you, but every one of them is true. Go out into the towns and hear for yourself. See how the people here suffer. <sighs> I haven't gotten close to voicing the extent of the Underworld's grievances, young lady. But I will respect your request. I will leave it at that for now. Let's get back to the main topic. The name that came to my mind was Svarog. Huh? Isn't Svarog Wildfire's sworn enemy? Why would a mere robot in the Underworld have knowledge of important secrets? Sworn enemy. <laughs> Not how I see it. The young master here is closer. Svarog is a cold and unfeeling machine. He recognizes only the dead reasoning of his calculations. Svarog is not against Wildfire. Or perhaps I should say, Wildfire isn't even of concern to him. That ancient robot witnessed the war. If you're looking to pick up a thread, he may well be your best source. Don't judge a book by its cover. I myself have put a few centuries behind me. Would you be able to tell? I'm familiar with over 20 long life species. None of them look like you. Uh, hey, would it kill you to play along? Robots don't forget. If Svarog hasn't heard of your Stellaron, then I'm afraid perhaps no one has. In which case, we need to think of a way to convince Svarog to communicate with us. Or get him to hand over his memory bank. We could go through it ourselves. <sighs> what should we do? We've tried repeatedly to negotiate with Svarog, but he rejects every effort. He believes that wildfire is a threat. Still, if it were you guys... Hmm, it's difficult to say. We have time. Let's get into the detail tomorrow. It's late, and you must have been through a lot. Go back to the town and rest. I'll make arrangements. Again? I'm starting to get nervous of arranged rest on this planet. As for our Silvermane girl here, do you have time? I'd like to talk with you in private. Svarog? The changes in here are greater than I ever imagined. <sighs> what exactly did the underworld go through after the Silverman guards left? Sorry. Did you have something you wanted to say to me? I think I know what it will concern. Even if Oleg wasn't looking for me, I would have looked for him. I'm certain that the residents of the underground will have a lot they need to vent about. And, as a Silvermane guard, I have a lot that I need to ascertain. Nothing more. According to Oleg, he's a robot that took part in the War of Defense over 700 years ago. He possesses a near-human intelligence and rules over all the machinery in the underground. During the war, 
The architects created astonishing mechanical soldiers, but the fight was so terrible that most were damaged or destroyed. The technology was lost. If what Oleg says is true, then Svarag is an architect creation left over from the old era. We do? I hadn't realized. I've received rigorous military training. Coordinating with soldiers under any circumstances is easy for me. I admit Zila is talented. We do work well together, but that's all there is to it. Hey, thanks for your concern. You should head back to the town. I'll do the same when Oleg and I are finished. <sighs> Young man, this isn't the best place for a chat. Let's keep things brief. Svarog? Well, he's an artificially intelligent being from the old world. He was here when the underground was first constructed. That's about all I knew. Now he guards the Furnace Core hub. Many vagrants have established bases in the vicinity, seeking Svarok's protection. You got the gist from Natasha, right? The miners and vagrants came to blows over the vein. Then Svarok's subordinates pushed everyone back. Well, perhaps their methods were lacking in finesse. But that's essentially what they did. If you want my take, he prevented another underworld conflict. Even if the execution was rough around the edges. His behavior says something about his thinking. As long as everyone's been driven out, the conflict is over. Well, I heard that she's a silver main guard that was sent to arrest you. I expected you to be less friendly around each other. Are you worried about her? Really? I'm surprised. Still, you can rest easy. I won't make things difficult for her. We haven't seen a silver main guard down here for a long time now. I just want to ask her a few questions, nothing more. Uh, it's getting late. <clears throat> you should go back to the town and get some rest. You guys have some moves. If you need my help with anything, just shout. <laughs> It'll take more than that. But you're not as bad as I took you for. You walk the talk. Oh, uh, I wanted to ask you. That Branya girl... Is she really a silver main guard? No, no, she's got skill, all right. I can tell she's got training. It's just, I thought that silver main guards were all cold and unfeeling. They left the underworld to perish. But she doesn't give me that impression. Anyway, I've got stuff to report to the chief. See you around. 